everyone, welcome to another video. Today I really wanted to share with you my experience of my cacao addiction and essentially how I have recovered from that and now I'm experiencing food freedom because I'm not um, depending on a stimulant. So 18 weeks ago, I made the really tough decision to quit eating a particular food that was not healthy for my, my physical being, um, my mental being, and my overall physical state and mental state. So I was addicted to cacao powder and cocoa powder. Cacao powder and cocoa powder um, contain caffeine and they also contain theobromine which is a neurotoxin um, and because these two stimulants are within the cocoa bean when I was having it I, it, I was literally having it every single day. I have cocoa or raw cacao powder in my ice cream to make chocolate and ice cream and I was literally in love with it. I was obsessed with it. I it was at the point where I was having it every single day for months on end because I couldn't go a day without it. So it's not that it not just simply that I was addicted to the taste because I love chocolate. That's always been my favorite flavor as a child, chocolate ice cream. So not only just that, but I felt like my physical state was addicted to it and I couldn't feel um, my best self without having it. And that's when I knew that I was addicted to it, that I, my body was at a point where it needed it to feel better. So 18 weeks ago, I said, that's it. I, I, have to, I, I have to stop it. So I literally woke up the next morning and I said, I'm stopping it now. I'm not having it anymore. So I wanted to share with you the first week of cutting it out, I felt horrible. I felt really, really fatigued. I really noticed it in, in the mornings, especially when I woke up. Um, if I didn't get, since I didn't get my uh, caffeine fix, my theobromine in my cacao, in my ice cream, I felt very tired and I felt, um, when I did my workout, I typically did my workouts after my chocolate banana ice cream. When I did my workouts, I didn't feel like I had the energy. I felt like really, really heavy and sluggish and tired. So I also felt like it was really hard for me to concentrate and think. So when I was working with my clients or when I was writing emails, you know, filming YouTube videos for you, I felt like it was a struggle for me to put together words and it felt like it was exhausting and it was really difficult. Another thing I noticed was that that week, it was nowhere near the time of the month, by the way, that week I was so moody and, and miserable and I was really, really emotional. So I had really high highs where I'd be laughing and giggling and all of a sudden, like I'd be to the point where I was almost crying and I didn't know why. There was no, no like true root cause that I knew, oh yeah, I stubbed my toe and I needed to cry. Uh, there was there was nothing um, seriously wrong in, in my life at that point. It was strictly because of the cacao. So those are the types of symptoms that I had within a full week. It was at least seven days where I experienced that. After the seven days, going on to two to three weeks, I really started to notice that all of those symptoms were slowly to decrease. They were declining. So I was feeling like I was getting my energy back, felt like I was getting my concentration, my cognitive function back. I felt like I was um, more stable emotionally. I felt um, so much better um, in all aspects of my life. I felt more happy just in general. So. I wanted to share that with you, share with you that I had struggled with an addiction. Um, it, it was a physical, um, spiritual, mental addiction, whatever you want to call it. It was, I was a, a addicted to it and I was so um, in denial about it actually. I didn't want to give it up because I loved it so much and I was obsessed with it. But um, if you are struggling with an addiction or a food stimulant, something that is um, not healthy for your, your physical body, it's not healthy for your well-being, whatever it is in your life, if you are addicted to something, if you have an obsession with something and it, uh, it causes negative, negative symptoms or negative outcomes in your life, then it, you have to really, really push yourself and be strong to cut it out, get rid of it. Um, and I mean, since I've stopped it, 
I have replaced it with carob powder. Now carob powder is um, free of caffeine, there's no caffeine, and it does not have theobromine, the neurotoxin in it. So it's completely safe to have. Um, but I noticed actually when I switched to carob powder, because it has a chocolate-like flavor, carob powder, but it's not actually like chocolate, it doesn't taste as chocolatey, it doesn't have that true chocolate flavor like cacao or cocoa powder does. I haven't felt addicted to it. I felt, um, I mean now I still, I have care powder and ice cream to make chocolate and ice cream once a week and sometimes not even, like I don't have that, that craving for it, I don't have that need to have chocolate and ice cream anymore and I feel like I've, I've as I said in the beginning of the video, I feel like I'm experiencing food freedom. So essentially for me, cutting something out of my diet has led me to feel happy, abundance. It's it's led me to feel free. So um, the, another point to this video is that if you are afraid to give something up, especially if it's a food, and you're afraid that you're going to feel restricted, ultimately when you give it up, you will feel free because you are no longer being attached to it. You're no longer um, being controlled by it. So that's how I felt. Um, I hope this video uh, inspired some of you. If it did, please hit the like button. And if you're new here to my channel, subscribe for more because I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. I will see you next time. Bye.